Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we are doing a video uh, with a collaboration with Intrepid Cameras, just like I have here, Mark III. I have in this box an unboxing that I'm gonna do of the Intrepid a 4x5 Mark IV uh, Black Edition. It was a limited edition, no longer limited. Now you can buy it any time of the, you know, from foreseeable future. And they sent me this in exchange for doing some online workshops that I will be doing on YouTube. More on that later. So basically I received this uh, box in the mail. You can see cardboard box. We have a little postcard. Thank you for ordering. We have a little Linhoff Copal Zero probably style lens board, which we can open for the sake of the video. Oh, we have, ooh, we have three different ones. So we have Copal Zero, Copal One, and Copal Three, as you can see there. If you don't know about these, these are made by Intrepid. Depending on the lens and the shutter you're using, you have different sizes, which I'll talk about more about that in the, you know, live streams. So now we take a little bit of wrapping off the top and we have this box. And this box is super tight fit, so let me flip the box around. Take it out. Little extra protection. And we have our Intrepid camera box, which actually looks really nice. I like the branding, I like the box. It's super, you know, snuck in there. And now we pull this up and do the reveal. Put the box on the side, little foam on the top. And here you have it, black, Intrepid 4x5. The first Intrepid camera that has no wood on it. As you remember, the first Intrepid was all plywood. There's nothing else in the box except for some foam protection, which we won't be needing anymore. No ground glass protection, which they used to sometimes send, which is, can be an issue, but I mean, this was on top, so, and a cardboard box, so it shouldn't be a big problem. So here we have it, the 4x5, Black Edition, which to me looks really nice. They put some grease here for the screws, which you can clean off, but it's fine. Uh, it has the aluminum bed. It has 3D printed black frame, which probably is hard to see in the video because black doesn't show so well. But this is like a dark, dark gray. It has the metal spring back here, which as always can be a graph lock back. You can take it off and use it for you know, your six by 12 or six by nine or so on back. So this is the little clip that uses that. And then when you wanna put your ground glass back on, which is only ground glass, no Fresnel, you put it in, basically goes in there. You lift it up a little bit and there we go. And now there it is flush, but it looks really nice, really well made. Uh, you can see a bit of the 3D, you know, little, filaments but it doesn't look bad at all honestly you can hear the new bellows kind of making that noise you can see the bubble levels on the top on the back standard this back standard is as always rotating back standard so you can rotate it let me do this a little bit down so you guys can see it but it's rotating which is a great addition for uh inexpensive four by five as you can see that can be done, but you can't do it completely unless the cameras are probably on a tripod, which I'll show you that when we do the online workshops. And then the front standard, as always, goes screwed onto the bottom of the plate here. You have both little knobs here that we can tighten. And then you just choose whatever hole you want, depending on the focal length you're using, which there'll be more information about that. Uh, soon, but you can see this. Let me see. It has to screw in a little bit So it lets me move it. There we go And that can go this is very much the same style as the Philips cameras Chamonix cameras and Shenhao cameras So it's not a new design, but it's it's comfortable Makes the camera easy to you know bend down and fold down You can see there. This is tight now So this is the camera as you can see from the top. And it has those Linhoff style lens boards, like this one's a Copal 3. And it has this little, kind of like looks like those uh, electronic 
boards that are transparent where you get your computers kind of very cool has like some numbers I don't know that's something to do with a camera number uh, so they can keep track um, then there's bubble levels on the top this is for your lens board as I said you place it in push it down and then your lens board is there um, basically same you know linear uh, bearings which are really cool someone asked if the red and green had something to do these always come like this when you order unless you make a massive order and you want your own color so it's not rare uh, you'll see it in the industry many times and yeah you have basically your separate knobs for rise and fall and also for tilt so you can tilt one way or the other bellows are still not interchangeable which is a bit of a bummer um, but yeah, basically that's the 4x5 Black Edition from Intrepid, which I will be using on uh, workshops, basically. So more information about that. Basically, I'm going to try to go every Friday. I'm going to be going live streaming. I'm going to be teaching large format. I'll be teaching movements. I'll be teaching lenses. I'll be teaching different cameras. I'll be teaching uh, how to develop. All these kinds of things that I usually teach in one-to-one -one person. Uh, right now, considering the situation, I'm going to be doing it online with multicam for you guys on YouTube. Thanks to Intrepid for sending this camera. As part of the collaboration, you will see a lot more from it. Uh, right now, we can't go outside and shoot, so it'll be all in the studio, and I'll be teaching you all about large format, or as far as I can teach you, and then from then, you can take it uh, on your own self to learn. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little unboxing, seeing behind the scenes of this Intrepid 4x5. Uh, aluminum bed special features it has improved a little bit over the normal mark IV. i haven't been told exactly what because they told me they didn't really want to announce it but if you have a mark IV and you're thinking about getting the black edition you might want to know that they have you know put a little bit more into it than just a black 4x5 mark IV. this is the mark III. as you can see had the wooden bed this one has the aluminum bed as mark IV. i really really excited to have this camera in use uh, tripod screws are on the bottom here plate really cool camera super lightweight has the looks to me I mean that dark gray black bellows I think looks really really nice uh, I like the wood but this looks super super slick I wish they would do this in 8x10 I don't know if the 3d printers will let them do that but if they do uh, I will for sure want to have one of those as a kind of like everyday 8x10 throw in a backpack and you know hike if you can so yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be doing the live streams on Fridays, so stay tuned. You want to subscribe and check out. I'll be posting like a day before so you guys can be aware when it's going to happen. It'll probably happen around uh, 8 p.m. Spain time, which is where I'm based. So that would be like 2 p.m. Uh, East, Co East Coast and probably a little earlier West Coast in the U.S., and if you're in Australia, it will be 8 in the morning or New Zealand, pretty much the same. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.